Hi, this is Nelly, and today I'm going to show you how to use Vokey. So I'm going to write down Vokey on my Google search, click on it, and go in to Vokey. Now I have an account on Vokey, but if you don't, it's very easy to get one. You either log in or you try it. It's free. So um, get an account and let's get started. So logging in is easy. I just need to add my email and password. And I should remember it if it's on my personal computer. If not in a school, then I would untick this. Now, if you've got a Vokey open anywhere else, I'll ask you to log out of all the other devices. So let's do that. Don't worry about that. Once you get an account. Okay, so these are some of my Vokey creations. Notice uh, the last one was made in... 2009 over here so i've been using vocu for a long time on and off of course right now i have a classroom and i'm paying as you can see and i think it's quite uh, reasonable but you don't have to pay get a free account because this is about getting free things and of course your students won't have to pay anything so let me create a new Vokey by clicking on create new it's very intuitive you wait a little bit and then it comes up i'm using chrome on a mac because safari isn't always compatible with all of these so this is what i get okay and i'll get a different one each time and so will the students so what i'm going to do of course is edit it notice the information here settings you can um, cancel it or you can ask for help so if you go into the settings it'll tell you a little bit about it play on load and so on we don't need that all right so let's see basically notice what's here you've got uh, ways of changing okay this particular one or you can go into another one okay um it's up to you you can find the right one and your students will find it really really easy you won't really have to explain anything to them which is great because that's what we want we want them to be self-sufficient especially if this is fully online and you can't really be there to hold their hands physically all right so you can change uh, the clothing and so on you can also uh, change the colors of anything that you wish all right, so next, once you get your Vokey ready, click on this, okay, at the end. But before that, make sure that you save it. If you don't save it and tell this to your students, they may lose it. So please choose an audio. All right, so let me choose an audio, okay, since I'm going here. So I can choose to use my voice, or I can simply enter the message and then I'll be able to hear it so I'm gonna say hi or I won't even say hi I'll say my Nelly all right and then you can go on saying whatever you want to say you can also choose notice the language but since uh, whatever language you happen to be using in your school all right you could okay so I think you heard that but if not that's Julie you can also change it to other people you can use UK Bridget Okay, I have a slightly British accent. You can also get a guy. Okay, so it's up to you what you get. You can also get Fiona, I like this one, who's Scottish. Okay, so you'll have the audio of whatever text you add here. And I think this is uh, really great for students since they get a chance to hear what their words sound like. If they make grammatical mistakes, then of course uh, you'll be able to help them with that. Okay, so here you can also get an audio upload, which means you go into a computer and you get a chance to uh, get an audio from your library. All right, you can, uh, in addition to adding text, you could also record your voice, which is what I'm going to do right now. So this is record your voice. You can also use the phone. I would stay away from that. So let's click on this. And then notice it says, allow, I'm on Chrome. Hi, and welcome to Vokey. This is uh, Nelly Deutsch, and I'm really excited about using Vokey. In fact, I have a Vokey class with my students. You don't have to get a Vokey class, but you can get your students to share their Vokey voices or their real voices. It's uh, up to you. You can do it for various uh, activities. Right now, it's just the introduction. So um, I've been using technology since 1993. 
in uh, a laboratory lab. Yes, I had two computer labs at the beginning that I had a lot more. I would run from one to the other because usually computer labs have only 20. So technology is really exciting. And the reason it's exciting for me is because I see my students engage. I see them doing instead of just listening to me. And I think the more they do and the less and speak, of course, English to each other since uh, I teach English as a foreign language, then that makes me happy. The less I speak and they do the work, the happier I am. So I hope that's your approach to teaching too. And if it is, then you're in the right place. So enjoy the um, teaching online course. And if you have any questions, use Voki. That's one way of communicating. So I stopped that. I hope you heard it. Uh, save it. Okay, now you can give a character its name. Very important. So I'm going to call the character Nelly, and I'm going to save it. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so there it is. There I am. Okay, you can create a new one, save it, but you can also notice embed and share the link. We're going to go into the link. Now I want to show you how to hyperlink. Use full length URL. Okay, that's the full length URL or the short one. So let's get copy link. All right, and we're going to go back now. And I will paste the link, hover over it, okay, highlight it. And then I'm going to go into the hyperlink, which is right here. Okay, click on it, wait a few seconds, and then add that link URL, open in a new window. Okay, that's important. All right, and now it's hyperlinked. Next, I'm going to save it. Don't forget to save your changes so that they appear. Otherwise, you'll have to do it again. And that's it. The link is there. You can see it. It's now active. And how do you get started? You click on add a new discussion topic. So uh, let's do that now. Okay, if you've never been on a course such as this one on Moodle, you add a new discussion topic. I just want to mention that once you do it, you will have your work ticked off which means that you will get credit for adding the hyperlink, and then you'll get a badge and a final certificate at the end of the course. So you add to the subject line. The subject line is me or whatever you want to add, your message. Now, this is where you add your link. Okay, notice that you'll need to open this up. So let's open that up. So you have uh, three rows now. And then you can say a few words. Hi. Hi. You enter in as many words as you wish. Tell us about you. And then you're going to introduce yourself to your students, notice, using Voki. We want to practice what we're going to say to our students since um, that's going to be our first meeting with them online fully online so add the link you simply add the link hover your mouse over it go to the hyperlink icon there you see it's already there okay open in a new window so that it doesn't take you away and there it is and then don't forget when you finish you're going to post to forum okay so that's really important and then it'll tell you that you have 30 minutes to make any changes but if you're here that's only if you go when you come back in 30 minutes notice this is what it says oh sorry it's now one hour yes i extended it if you don't like what you've written you can just go back to it and delete it which is what i'm going to do there it is i'm going to delete it i'm going to create another one so remember you're introducing yourself as who you are and what you're doing here tell us a little bit about what you teach and so on and then you're going to add your Voki introduction which is your introduction to your students if there are any questions feel free to ask in the support form for each of the sections so the first one is let's get acquainted 